All right. It's Monday morning and um, we're still in West Virginia, but we'll be heading to the interstate now, yes. to the freeway, to I-64 West. I-64 West yes. and hopefully somebody will give us a ride into Kentucky. Yes. And the journey continues on and on. <laughs> on down the road and it will also be interesting to see where we'll end up tonight because how far we'll get yes yes because there's a cold front coming in with storms and so on and we'll see where we are tonight but yes on down the road julia and gina on the road yes yes uh, carry on into the world. The road brings you wisdom, that journey and on. Watch out for fear, it'll pick your soul clean. And when you're back down on the street again, lean on that wisdom that feeds every part of the dream. Two roads diverged in the woods near a river where your angels look down and they smile. And you found your true passion. On a road not taken, and you carried on into the wild, into the wild, come hell or high water, into the wild, through the rain and the hail, into the wild, where the birds sing in harmony and your angels all smile. They say carry on into the wild. Okay. We are rolling. So the past two days we had a beautiful camp spot right here. I mean not not right here, no. but <laughs> there. It was just beautiful. Yes. It was just so beautiful to see to be surrounded by hills and mountains and just it was green and beautiful and we had trees and it was just right. I, I mean know, it, it was beautiful. It was into the wild and was peaceful and we rested a little bit and yes, very, it was very beautiful. Yes. <laughs> what a beautiful spot. Shine your light into my dark into the wild. Beautiful. Wash away my sin and set me free. The hills of West Virginia. It's very Take this steep. heart of stone and make it over. <laughs> For all of my life, it's all I have. Look how to steep that is. I know. That's our camp spot. We're here. We found this spot, it wasn't easy, but wow. It's like on the on the crest, on the ridge. I the know, I, I don't know if we can really make it out, like how steep it's going down right there in front of us. It's so steep, it's these hills here. Yes. And yeah, we're, we're here and um, soon we'll be heading down into Kentucky and on and on. Wow. Into the wild. Into the wild. Jesus. 
Jesus, all I want to do is follow you. I take the gift of life you offer me. Rolling. Rolling. Oh, it is hot and humid today. Yes. We're heading to the freeway right now. And yes, a lot of traffic here. There's a lot of traffic, yeah. To take a little break in the shade. <laughs> to cool off. I know. <laughs> we were overheated and... Already, from I five know. minutes of walking downhill. <laughs> walking downhill. But yeah, we're heading that way to I-64. Yes. Heading west. Heading west. Julia and Tina on the road. Bye, see you later. See you. Yes, bright sunshine on us. So, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. We watched the local weather. Woo! And they were making like a big deal out of the counting down to fall weather. Like meteorological fall starts on September one. We're counting down three more days to fall. Even though we're complaining about heat and humidity, I don't want fall weather. Oh. I still want the summer want the weather. Summer. summer is it. <laughs> they got that sign behind China again. No pedestrians. But whatever, we're here. In front of the sign. So. the hitchhiker so cool all right A lot of traffic at least. Yeah. So oh. sun is beating down. Sun is burning us. <laughs> Scorching. Scorching, like yes. <laughs> I take it. And it's I don't want rain. No, we always say we take the heat over the cold. Sun over rain. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Woo! Yes. Next leg of our journey. Next I leg know. of our road trip. We're heading west. Heading west. Crossing Kentucky is the new. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the new journey, the the, the new chapter, the next leg. Right. It's, it's across Kentucky. Yeah. I have to drink something. Okay. 
green tea. Yes. Okay. Refreshing. Ah. All right. And on and on. Right. Here we are. I-64. Yes. What's it? 65. It's 64. 64. I-64 all the way to St. Louis, Missouri, and then it's 70 from St. Louis to Denver. Yes. <laughs> That's all we need to know. All we need to remember. Yes. Straight shot. Yes. Very straight shot. Totally. <laughs> Something else I wanted to say, um, if you've read On the Road by Jack Kerouac, the famous, very yeah. famous novel, then you know that the beginning, at the beginning of the novel, he's trying to hitchhike to Denver. I know, and he's giving up on the first day in, outside of New York City. Because it starts raining and nobody takes him, and then he actually decided to, to just get a Greyhound ticket. Buy a bus ticket from New York to Chicago. And then he hitchhikes from there. Yeah. He hitchhiked from there to to Denver. And there's a Jack Kerouac mural in Denver. And if we get to Denver, we'll stop by there yes. and film or take pictures. Yeah. But yeah, we had to think of Jack Kerouac right now. We just were hitchhiking, and there's a big truck coming through. It's like 10 miles from where we were earlier. Yes. At least we're moving. We're moving. It's very slow. We didn't come very far, but we're moving. Yes. Yes. It's 1.30 already. I know. It's not and it's, that early it's anymore. No, no. We just ate some lunch. Let's see where the road will take us today. Yes. Yes. Maybe to Kentucky, maybe not. Jack Kerouac getting high on a fifth of cheap toe case. Skid Row Alley, Howard and Third. His shadow on the shades near the Southern Pacific Station. October in the railroad earth. Old bums with tattoos from Singapore. Box cars, iron wheels giving birth. Flop house afternoons of old warped wood America October in the railroad earth Out where the freight trains still roll with the cannonballs So Chicago to the stockyards of Fort Worth All the way out to Frisco and that in the land sets October in the railroad earth October in the railroad by on his desk near the peanut butter jar His notebook with those big poetic words Raising bread and oatmeal, coffee on a hot plate October in the railroader 
Jack hits the morning alley with his brakeman's lantern. He stares at a hooker in a polka dotted skirt. Oh, Three eggs for a dime and that lumberjack stew. October in the railroad. October in the railroad. What's that thing called thing really worth? Light a candle for his soul in some old Mexican church. October in the railroad. It's a holy day. Well, Jack bottoms out in Big Sur, up in Berlin, Getty's cab tries to hitchhike, but drivers swerve and curse. His wife is taking him sewing to pay his bills and his bar tip. October in the railroad. Jack is gone in October, $62 in the bank, and he's buried near the place of his birth. Getting beat up outside of bars, passing out in cars, he left his blood soaked in the railroaders. October in the railroaders, what's that thing called fame really worth? Light a candle for his soul in some old Mexicali church. October in the railroad. Okay. Now you must be kidding me. Two cops pulled up, okay, just like a minute ago, yeah. and they're like, hitchhike is illegal in the state of West Virginia. I said, no, it's not. Like, no, no yeah. it's not. We looked it up. It's six states. It's not West Virginia. Oh, you can stand here, but you can't stick your thumb out. It's soliciting what? and you can't solicit. You just have to stand here and hope somebody stops and gives you a ride. It's like, what? No way. Like Big, big thumbs down. But, uh, I've never heard anything no. like that. I said, no, we're in front of the sign. We're fine. No, no, you can't solicit. We had something like that in Pennsylvania one time, but it is actually illegal in Pennsylvania. But not here. Like, West Virginia is not one of the states where hitchhiking is illegal, so... Come on, give me a break. Uh, so now we have to see yeah. how we do this. I did put my thumb out just now, but I don't want him to drive yeah. around and see us again. Hopefully somebody will still stop yeah, regardless yeah. of this uh, shit, but we'll see what happens. I was beginning to feel like West Virginia isn't that friendly no, West Virginia to uh, hitchhikers. No, no, also. people pretend like, oh, West Virginia oh, is yeah, so it's friendly. Okay. It's okay. Well, we'll see. Yeah. All right. On down the road. I really, really want to leave this county and this state. Yes. State of West Virginia. I, yes. We really have to leave. And now I'm waving at people, but it's kind of weird. I did the thumb thing a few times. Or I know. I don't feel comfortable not doing it. Yes. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens, but I want to get off this exit definitely out of this county at least and yes yes huh strange that nobody stops yeah like you said earlier everybody talked about how people in west virginia how nice they are uh, they help each other they're so kind-hearted or whatever i, mean, I don't know, you know i don't know if it's true yeah God said, but it must have been a reason that god sent us check who was from michigan i know and who drove us basically straight across the yes. state of west virginia yes at once almost and yes. then continued on the next day and took us to charleston yes. and now we're here and it's slow and nobody it's so slow us. we are standing in the sun for hours yeah. and nobody's asking are you okay right, other asking. other places people bring you food and water and say it's so hot are you okay and Maybe we had Marsha yes. and she gave you water too, but, but it was one but, person. Yeah, one person. So, one person. Yeah. We will keep you posted. Yes. See you later. We're finally on the road. <laughs> this is Ken. Yes. And he does not hear very well, but he's giving us a ride to Huntington. <laughs> Ken, how long have you been a Jehovah's Witness? Most of my life. Really? Wow. Well, I didn't really take the Bible serious until I was 25. 
dog. You know, and then I started seeing the difference mm -hmm. in people that live by what the Bible said or tried to. Mm -hmm. And people that didn't care. Yes. And people that didn't care, their lives seemed to be hollow. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I don't want to say, yeah, like, like they were empty. Mm -hmm. They were living for the day, for the moment. Yeah for the experience, but they didn't really have a future. Yes. And that's what I was looking for. The future. That made sense. Mm -hmm. And I started studying the Bible with one of Jehovah's Witnesses. The reason why is because when they answered my question, they would show me a scripture. They didn't say believe it on faith. Yeah. Or believe what I'm telling you. They showed me a scripture. Mm -hmm. And it started making sense. Well, I compared them with a lot of, I searched a lot of different religions. Right. Well, when they started answering the questions from the Bible, you know, that's when I'm like, well, I can trust that. And that's when life started changing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. We are only eight miles now from the state line. West Virginia, Kentucky state yes. line. Ken took us here. It's only eight miles until we're in Kentucky. We're in Huntington, West Virginia here, and it's eight miles to Kentucky. Wow. Yes, something happened, finally, <laughs> on the road. Yes. Yes. I can stick my thumb out again because we're in a different county. Different county, and a sheriff's car drove by, and they did not turn around to talk to us. Yeah. So I guess it's not illegal, and really nobody cares. So the others just wanted to get rid of us or something. Yeah, no, but stuff like that, little glitch. glitch that sucks, you know. It was a glitch, but that's okay. Oh yeah, that's we got yeah. it. Glitches are videos, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so close to the Kentucky line. Yes, but unfortunately it's gray now and rainy and thunderstorm weather kind of. So very humid. That sucks. Very humid. I wish yes. it would go a little faster. Yes. We stand there 20 minutes, somebody saw I know. We always Please. stand at every exit for hours. These so, days, yes. like two hours or something. I Not, know. There's a breeze. Yes. Ah. But see what happens. Yes. We keep you posted. I said this before. Yes. We're heading west. Heading west. We are heading west. We're heading west. Slowly, but yeah. Yes. Yes. On down the road. Rolling. Hey. It's incredibly humid right now. Yes. I'm soaked in sweat, to be honest. Yes. It rained a little bit in between, but we walked away. We came back. Oh. Yes, it's very humid. I mean, it's my t-shirt. It's very wet right now. And I don't know. It really seems to take very long at, at every single exit. Yes. Uh, yeah. And I don't know because, yeah, you got to have patience. And oh. At least, yeah, we look good. <laughs> the sun is bleaching my hair, our hair. Yes. As, uh, but yeah, it's okay. We're on the road and um, we will keep you posted and hopefully we'll soon somebody stops and will soon take us into Kentucky and yes. on down the road. It's Brayden. Yes, he picked us up in Huntington, West Virginia. And he's taking... God, he's the answer to yes. a prayer. God told him to stop and pick us up. This is incredible. Yes. yes. He's taking us to Ashland, Kentucky. I tried to ignore it and I'm like... I can't. Yes. You know? Yes. Like, I don't know if you guys are axe murderers or anything. <laughs> I just got to trust in him that he's going to take care of me. Exactly. And that's the thing. If it's the Holy Spirit, you know, if we hear... If we hear God's voice, we cannot not hear it. Right? It's like, we, maybe, yeah. maybe it's not what I want to do, but maybe... <laughs> yeah. Definitely. We have to trust yeah. and obey, basically. Where do you guys want me to drop you off at? 
you um, want to have a specific place or you like a grocery store or some you know some civilization that's supposed to yeah. yeah yeah i got you i don't know if they have walmart or something they have walmart and everything yeah, like that, that there, so. yes. very like that yes. we we're crossing into kentucky right now i see the sign oh wow yeah, Kentucky, here we are. Rolling. All right, we got dropped off here in Ashland, Kentucky at the Walmart. Yes. We're not endorsing Walmart or anything like that. It just no. seemed like a good spot to drop yes. us off. And yeah, Braden took us here and it's sunny. That's sun pretty cool. shining and yeah. It's cool that it's sunny and it's and cool it's that cool. we made it across yes. the state line into Kentucky yes. after all. But it was a long, it took long. <laughs> yes. And it's so cool that he said God told him to turn around and give us a yes. ride. That he, yes. yes. Absolutely. That's yes. totally cool. Yes. yes. Because we prayed. We prayed and God sends us the right people. and He sent us yes. prayed. And, yes. And yeah, that's, we're grateful. Definitely. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. God's people are everywhere. Yes. Uh, even though sometimes we don't see them, but they're there. Uh, but people, yeah, God, a glitch. A glitch. That's well. okay. But if people hear God's voice, they know His voice and yes. hear His voice, and then they will pick us up. And, but some people, they might hear the voice, they might but, hear the voice but they don't want to do it. They ignore what God is telling them. I think that's what many people do all the time. It's such a big mistake. Yeah, though. because, I mean, yeah. 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 But yes, we made it. We're in Kentucky. <laughs> we are in Kentucky. Yes. Huh. And now we let it sink in for a moment yes. and see what happens next. Yes. <laughs>